in this quiet corner of Tillicoot Tree. We would normally gather today in thankful remembrance of those who have given their lives in the service of our country. Today, we cannot gather together, but we can still remember. And so we do. We give thanks for the lives of those who were willing to give their all. Those who never returned. Those who came home bearing scars and their bodies in their minds. Those who through the years have carried the burden of bereavement and loss and trauma. Today we give thanks for lives laid down and we remember. This reading is from Revelations 22 verses 1 to 5 and it's from the message. Then the angel showed me water of life river, crystal bright. It flowed from the throne of God and the Lamb right down the middle of the street. The tree of life was planted on each side of the river, producing 12 kinds of fruit, a ripe fruit each month. The leaves of the tree are for healing the nations. Never again will anything be cursed. The throne of God and the Lamb is at the centre. His servants will offer God's service, worshipping. They'll look on his face, their foreheads mirroring God. Never again will there be any night. No one will need lamplight or sunlight. The shining of God, the Master, is all the light anyone needs, and they will rule with him age after age after age. As we gather, separate from one another, yet united in remembrance, we share in the ancient words. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
When you go home, tell them of us and say for your tomorrow we gave our today. This Remembrance Sunday reading comes from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Let us join together in prayer. Almighty God, Maker and sustainer of the universe, we acknowledge you as God the Father, faithful and loving and caring, and as God the Son, who in Christ died on the cross for our salvation, and as God the Holy Spirit, who has come to be our friend, journeying alongside us in our daily lives. We meet together on this Remembrance Sunday to remember and at the same time to learn. We remember the cost of war and the price of peace. We remember the scope of human depravity and the extent of human self-sacrifice. The countless thousands who sacrificed life and limb to gain our freedom. Those who left home and family to fight in the two great wars and also in subsequent conflicts and never returned to their loved ones. We acknowledge the debt which we owe to them. We salute the courage and selflessness they displayed. Help us also to learn the lessons of the past, to live and work for peace, to fight only against that which is evil and wrong, to stand against injustice and corruption. We pray for all those who, in whatever capacity, are working tirelessly to maintain peace to expose and to root out injustice and to protect innocent civilians from those who would exploit. We praise you for the freedom from war that we enjoy in this country and we look forward to the time when the nations of this world will live in harmony and you, the sovereign God, will reign supreme over all. Until that time, Help us to remember past sacrifice and and to learn from the past and to work as far as we are able to be peacemakers. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.